What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's show program with us TV. In this class, we're going to look at, of course, a simple dialogue fragment, okay? So you can see this is a dialogue fragment with the list view. Basically, we have a simple button at the center of our relative layout in our main activity. We click it and then this right here is a fragment being shown for us, a dialogue fragment. It has, of course, a header. It has right here a simple list view. If you click a single item, you're able to get the item that's been clicked. This simple tutorial to teach us about dialogue fragment and of course how we can use it of course in our application. So uh, this of course is in our landscape portrait mode. Let's also look at it in the landscape mode. Well, here we have it of course in our landscape mode. I click to open my fragment. You can see right here we have our fragment. We can have our items if you click an item it gets shown right here of course in our list it gets shown in a toast message okay so this is it right guys we're working with kotlin okay kotlin programming language so let's get started so our very first step of course is to create our project so go ahead type your application name then of course you choose the company domain now these are kotlin projects so we're going to include our kotlin support by choosing this include Kotlin support option. Now we have several templates. I'll just go with the peer level 15 and later on, of course you can make it lower. Then we go to next, okay? Now in the next, we have several templates right here. I'm going to choose empty activity as my template layout. Then of course I come next, then click finish. It will generate as a main activity as well as activity main dot XML. Okay, so with our project ready, first and foremost, we have to, let's come explore project structure. Of course, we're going to move over to our Gradle scripts. Normally, we have two of them, build.gradle and, of course, the project level as well as the app level. So, if you come to the app level or the module level, we can come right here. This is the only one we're interested in, right here. So, you can make, of course, your minimum SDK. You can target a lower version right here. And then you also have several dependencies which you can include. So for example, you can see already given that we are working with Kotlin and Ruth just generated for us, has applied for us first two plugins, the Kotlin Android as well as the Kotlin Android extensions. Normally, if you are creating, of course, a normal Android application, and Ruth Studio will only apply for you the com.android.application only. But given that you are working with Kotlin, it's going to add for us Kotlin Android as well as the Kotlin Android extensions. Then we have these several DSLs right here. First, we have where we specify our compile SDK version as well as our default configurations. Now we also have, of course, our app compat right here. Okay. In fact, these are been added by Android Studio, so we really don't have to add anything. Okay. So that's it right there. Now this Kotlin version, of course is actually a variable that has been declared right here you can see Kotlin version 1.2.3.0 so that's all we need to do we really don't work need any third party library now what we're going to do is to come to our values and start with the colors under the colors we're going to add some more colors right here you can see i have this particular um material amber okay these several material design colors have added them alongside the normal color primary color primary dark and color accent then under the strings.xml we have our app name then of course under the styles.xml i've applied these my custom colors as the my primary color okay and my color primary dark okay this will get of course applied to our toolbar for our application okay so please go do that one then we move over to our layouts now android studio did generate for us activity main.xml all we're going to do right there is to add a simple button which when clicked will open our uh, our dialog fragment now we come start to the fragment layout we're going to have a linear layout as the root element okay so it will be our view group then of course its orientation will have it as vertical we're going to specify for us a list view. Now, this list view is going to contain an ID. Remember, we're going to be rendering a list view inside our dialogue fragment. Now, this fragment layout right here, we're going to inflate it, of course, 
as the inter user interface for our dialog fragment. So that's it. Let's proceed over to our Java code. Okay, let's proceed over. So first and foremost, we're going to create another class. I've called mine the Pioneers fragment. So just right click your project and then come choose Kotlin. Okay, then of course, you're going to make it a class right here. Choose a class, give it a name, just an ordinary class. So once you've done that one, then first and foremost, you're going to make it derive from the dialog fragment. Now, while using the dialog fragment, it's very important to know that the Android do tap the dialog fragment that is the framework dialog fragment has actually been deprecated okay in support of this particular support library fragment so please change this one to android support dot before dot up the dialog fragment okay so we're not going to use the and dialog fragment defined in the uh android dot package instead we'll use the support library okay which can support uh, devices all the way up to version 4 android version 4 so we come right there android ap level 4 okay so we come right here make it derive from a dialog fragment then once you've done that one of course you can see this right here is a constructor we specify the constructor an empty constructor this is a requirement while working with the fragments you have to supply an empty fragment okay now we're going to override the on create view function or method. Now these are functions that will get traced by the system, of course, or invoked when uh, we want to create our view. So it will create for us our view and then return it. Now I'll call that view a view object, a root view. Okay. So basically, by meaning by um, creating it, what I mean is inflating it. You see, we have this particular layout, the frag layout right here now we're going to inflate it using a layout inflator so a layout inflator instance is being passed to us as a parameter then we also have a view group as well as a bundle object we're going to inflate it and then we should return a nullable view now that nullable view we have it as our root view so we come right here val root view then inflator dot inflate and then we go ahead and inflate that particular frag layout basically converting it from a layout into a view object Having done that one, we're going to create this simple array. Now this array is going to hold for us several pioneers. We use the array of function to construct our arrays. As you can see, these are arrays. Okay, we have data inside it. Okay, right there. So once we have that one, we're going to come and then reference our list view. So my list view, we're referencing it from our frag layout. That's where we did define it. You can see we have it right here. The ID is my list view. So we reference it and then make sure we cast it to a list view using the as operator. So having done that one, we're going to have set its adapter using the adapter property. So my list view dot adapter. Then we instantiate our array adapter by just invoking array adapter. We'll pass in this activity property. This activity property will give us, of course, the main activity which will host this fragment. Now fragments are also normally called the sub activities you need to host a fragment in an activity okay so this dialog fragment it must have an activity to host it so yeah we pass that activity reference right there then having done that one we're going to come right here past the layout okay for the the layout simple list item for our simple list view and then of course the pioneers which is our array so having done that one then we're going to come right here and then set the title for the fragment for the dialogue fragment then listen to the click events okay so an adapter view right here will be passed and then of course a view object and then the position and then of course this right here l which basically is along for our id and then what we're going to do okay so if you click a list view item right here okay we're going to use the position to retrieve the current item from our pioneers array and then show that current item in a toast message so that's how we do it of course in python then of course we return our root view okay so this right here is our pioneers fragment let's continue over with our main activity so here's our main activity dot kt first we have the class main activity is deriving from the app compare activity which is a support library so this will allow the apis that we use from this class 
to be compatible with Android API version 7 and above and later. So what we're interested in is to override this on create method, a method that will get traced when activity is being created. Okay, so overriding it, it will receive a bundle object which will be used to save the instance state of our activity. Then we're going to pass that saved instance state to the on create method of the super class. The super class of this main activity in this case is our app compat activity, and at that time, compat activities is further deriving from the fragment activity. So we'll use this set content view to inflate our activity main layout. Okay, basically turn it from a layout into a view object so that we can use it as the content view for this activity. Then we're going to have this particular open fragment button. We reference it using find view by ID. This will return as a view object which we cast to a button using the as operator. Having done that one, we're going to retrieve the support fragment manager. Now these are property of our app, co app compat activity. So we're just going to hold it in this particular FM, which is to represent our support fragment manager. Now having done that one, we're going to instantiate our pioneers fragment in Kotlin. When you instantiating, you just apply these ones, these brackets, and that's it. It will instantiate for us our pioneers fragment. We hold it in this pioneers fragment variable then we come to our open fragment button we listen to its click events when clicked what are we going to do well this is what we're going to do first as you can see we're overriding the on click method is taking in a view object so all we'll do is to invoke the show method so pioneers fragment do show and then we pass in our fragment manager or support fragment manager and then we can give it of course a tag any tag okay just a string that can identify that one so that's all we need to do and then once we've done that and then proceed over run the application by clicking run if you have your emulator run or you can go ahead and then build the apk then drag to your emulator device so that's it that's all we have we it's that easy Go ahead, like this video, guys, share it, make sure you guys subscribe to our channel, Program Users TV, and we're going to attach the source code in our website, campusha.info. Otherwise, take care, I'll catch you in the next class.